Comics Plus, what is going on? My name is Akasan. What is happening? New Lens towards the end of The Mandalorian Season 3. That's what it's all about. I got everything a little more distant. Uh, some things are in sync, it looks like. Uh, uh, I need to grow my beard back because, um, yeah, it is what it is. I should have set up the Mandalorian stuff over here. Um, God, I'm so bad at this. Hold on. I, I, wait, wait. There we go. I, I, here, here. The saber, the lightsaber. That, 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 that's the closest we're gonna get. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we got two more episodes away from the Mandalorian uh, being finished. Then Disney Plus goes on break. I'm a little worried because of the fact that uh, I now have uh, night classes, uh, nighttime Japanese classes that um. I need to take on Wednesday, so uh, could have it could have been any almost any other day. It just had to be the Disney days. It had to be the Mandalorian day, but it's okay. We only got two more weeks of this, and then I think Disney goes on break for a little while um, until August. So that'll be good for me to kind of adjust to the new life, the new creed. This is the way. Full reaction is available on Patreon. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, and share. I would appreciate it. As uh, we are going to be trying to catch up on Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia is almost finished, I think. I think for me, I'm almost caught up. So, uh, yeah, I would appreciate all the support I could get. That'd be great. Have you guys seen the new Marvels trailer? Man, that was pretty good. Disney is uh, faith in Disney restored. Maybe your latest reaction to the latest episode of The Mandalorian starts now. Is that your... Oh! Report. And make it quick, as I am short on time. Where are you at, buddy? Whoa! Alright. Dark Obama begins. What is this all about? Time to deliver on Project Necromancer. Necromancer. It's, all, it's all coming together. Perhaps it's time we look to new leadership. Oh, shit. Long the Empire. Long live the Empire. What's the name of the title this time? The Spies. Okay. I'm listening. That is crazy, though. Look at that. That looks really cool, man. Let's see if they all get along. That's the real question. Will they all get along? Can't we all just get along, man? Hmm. I hope these two groups get along. <laughs> That's what I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous. Damn, we gotta stop this Mandal on Mandal crime, y'all. It's all Mandalorian lives matter. <laughs> this racial division has got to stop. It's more like a vehicle. Grogu's gonna pilot it? Pilot IG-11's corpse? Maybe when he's older. No. He... What do you mean, no? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -mm. Get him out of there. No. <laughs> well, at least let him try it out in my office. Yes. 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 Oh, no. Yes. yes. This is yes. going to be annoying. You know, I was watching this one theory about how they should have just left Grogu. Like, Grogu could have been doing whatever with Luke at this point. Like, he's been kind of, like, pointless this whole se Overall, this whole season. Like, there's been some moments, yes, I get it, training as a Mandalorian, but we didn't really need all this at the moment. I will go. Wait, Paz. I will go. Who are you? Who are you? I will go. Who are you? I will go. Not gonna lie, it kinda reminds me a little of a House of the Dragon-ish kind of style, you know? Feeling it. The fleets move. Look at this budget, dude. <laughs> I love the way they drop, dude. We are home. My heart, dude. I can't wait for this drop though. You come on, Disney, you gotta do a ride like that. Put us in the 4DX, drop down. Oh my god, that would be so cool. Oh my god. That looked easy. That looked way too easy, honestly. <laughs> way too easy. We knew you would not forsake us, Lady Bo Katan. We have failed you. But our blasters remain in your service. Wow, it's her people. What the hell? They bombed every surface twice over. He looks really familiar. It's a crazy episode, man. 
This is the most Game of Thrones House of Dragon ish episode we have had on The Mandalorian. I only know of this weapon what you taught me. To be honest, it means nothing to me or my people. <laughs> Nor your song is not yet written. Oh shit. I will serve you until it is. Okay. Okay. It's like that. Dracarys. Onward, Mandalorians! The Yo, this is crazy. Like, oh my god, it's gonna it's gonna bother me so much. Like, he looks so familiar. Like, I've seen him in something, but I just cannot pick like or maybe he just kind of looks like a Keith David. Hey. The Mando boat. Oh shit. These like bloodline Mandalorians is they're a little prissy, dude. They need a little step taking. What? Grogu? No, no, no. You didn't learn that from me. <laughs> That's definitely a Luke thing there. Hey, destroy us all. It's Godzilla. There. Yep. That was a huge ass bitch. What? Those aren't Mandalorians. Some of y'all ain't making it out. Oh. That's actually not about use them as a decoy. <laughs> now the real question is who's under the armor? What like are these like test tube babies or what? This is crazy. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like a high definition laser tag or something. <laughs> There you go. Oh shit! Let's go, Mando. Wait, don't wait, wait. It, this looks like a trap. This looks like a trap. You guys are about to get like, it's a trap, right? What is this place? Yeah. Come on, don't you got that dark saber, lady? Don't you literally got a lightsaber? You can cut yourself open real quick. Ah, right, there he is. Hey, he stole my costume. He's got this like Xanatos thing going on. <laughs> Mandalore will live on in me. <laughs> Thanks. This is the way. Nice. Oh, I don't want to lose Big Man though. But I don't think Big Man can fit through there. Oh shit. Bro! Whoa! Whoa! Let's go, big man! It's only two of them, right? Ah! There you go. Nice. Oh. Who is this? Oh, no! I remember you from uh, The Last Jedi. Let's go. Shit. Shit. I don't want to watch this. John Favreau always getting killed, man. <sighs> Rest in peace, big man. These guys. These guys. Damn it. Damn it. All right, guys, so there you have it. That was the latest episode of The Mandalorian. We finally got the episode that everybody was kind of wanting, that people were waiting for. Um, uh, what Things were kind of basically building up to, all the different seeds of things that were kind of put in there. I, I believe that was a fair enough reason. That episode was a fair enough reason and build up for... Um, you know what all those other episodes that seemed like they were just going nowhere for some reason right it looks like it, was, it all kind of finally came together to, um to sort of you know what it was kind of like what it was making sense the reason it was making sense and all that other stuff right so um uh i liked it I liked what we got out of this episode, and um, I liked the sort of so, slow sort of uh, build at the end. Um, 
the Moff Gideon, like, he kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Xanatos a bit. Now, that's a Gargoyles reference for what, uh, and uh, Xanatos was, um, uh, it's kind of funny, actually, because uh, a good amount of Gargoyles had voice actors from Star Trek, the next generation. And so Xanatos was uh, done by um, Riley, Ripe, Ripe. Right, Riker, Captain Riker, the uh, the second in command of the Starship the Enterprise, but in short, uh, Xanatos was kind of like a Tony Stark, billionaire genius, playboy philanthropist, and um, he had this whole thing with gargoyles. He was like obsessed with them or whatever, and then so much that he ended up uh, making his own sort of Iron Man like suit that looked like a gargoyle and it was just kind of funny like when i saw moff gideon coming down in his own mandalorian outfit he like stole my outfit but uh but it, it what's kind of cool is like yeah he got a little bit of everything like he said a bit of the jedi a bit of the mandalorians a bit of uh what the empire I mean, there was one third thing um that he was uh kind of talk cloning or something like that i don't know uh which is why i'm kind of curious who's behind uh, who's under the Baskar Mandalorian outfits uh uh it's interesting um it's interesting particularly in the fact that you can see that they're really trying to make every show now interconnect and especially with the talks of Thrawn especially with the fact that we know that Thrawn is going to be showing up in um the Ahsoka show. I think that's going to be the first time we'll see him, if not in a little cameo at the end of The Mandalorian, uh, next the season finale next week. I, the heir to the Empire, right? Uh, I do think it's kind of interesting that the Empire still has resources, right? They're not as scattered as we once thought they were. They're just in a, they're very much in hiding at this point. And uh, it's interesting to see how Moff Gideon is... Uh, reserving um i like particularly you know bombers and all this other stuff uh it's uh overall i like it i like it i like that moff gideon is kind of the big he's he's kind of the big bad for the mandalorians he's the arch nemesis for the mandalorians but he's not the big bad for the fate of the world like that that's at this point, Thrawn, right? How, how, although, although, they've already mentioned a few things about the Necromancer Project, and that, as we all know, is the resurrection, eventual resurrection of Sidious, uh, Darth City, or Palpatine, right? Um, but, you know, what I think a lot of us are still wondering is if they're going to still at least make one s step into the uh, Snoke, um, and we're, or, or are we going to experiment with Snoke at least a little bit, right? And bridging the gap between um, the uh, where we are now in the First Order as well, because I think that Ahsoka's show might tap into that a little bit, as a lot of people have speculated. Anyways, um, you know, I'm I'm all here for it, guys. Um, it'll be interesting to see if anything will be, uh, the, particularly with the Mythosaur. It'll be interesting to see if we are going to get some resolutions. Uh, in, I'm not resolutions. Um, some, um, like, if we're going to feel like this chapter is really going to close in the season finale for this particular season, or is it basically going to feel like a one big cliffhanger and, like, you have to watch Ahsoka to find out more, right? Uh... The only thing that I really don't want is I don't want to have to wait two years or so for the Mandalorian story to continue. You know what I mean? Like if if I if they can, I really would like them to just just bring the get season four next year. Um, I hope it's not too hard for them to do that because that that break between season two and season three. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was a lot. It was a lot, you know. So, anyways, that's that's my that's my uh, thing. Uh, I liked this episode a lot, and um, I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> this dude was like half Darth Vader, half half Batman, half Gus. He was missing the chicken. Guys, I got to now my true 
uh, challenge begins. I got 50 minutes to kind of crunch something together for you. So apologies if it's a little shoddy. And then uh, we'll try to get it up on YouTube for you guys and see what's up. Last week it took like five. Oh my God. It took three hours or so of different revisions and five different revisions until YouTube allowed it to go through. So hopefully this won't be as bad. I'm going to get on it right now my troop my trial begins and also rest in peace to big man john fravero once again dying in star wars <laughs> as a vizsla talk to you on the next one guys i'll see you next week for the season finale of the mandalorian this is the way <laughs>